Good morning, everyone. Frank C. here, spot on sportspicks.com. How are we doing this morning? Today's Sunday, December 22nd, here in upstate New York. Beautiful, sunny day. Uh, about 15 degrees, though. <laughs> uh, but anyways, uh, um, let's see here. Yesterday, we didn't do that bad. We had a decent day yesterday. Um, let's see. Let's let's just go over yesterday, We the video, first of all. We had a tough beat on the video. We had Buffalo plus the six and a half. I mean, New England's got to get the touchdown. New England's got to get the, the two-point conversion. I mean, everything's got to happen perfect. And, of course, that's what happens, and they win by seven. I had an opportunity to buy up to seven, too, and I didn't. So sometimes you make mistakes. What are you going to do? You got to live with them and uh, go with the flow. But the rest of the day wasn't that bad. We had a decent day, and... On the VIB side, I gave out the Texans, who ended up pushing after taking a big lead in that game against Tampa Bay. But the Rams was my big bet of the day. I loved them. The Rams was like a three or, three or four unit play for me. Um, and uh, I like I like the trends of the teams that get blown out the week before and come back and cover. And that's what happened with the Rams. Dallas blew them out the week before and. They come back and they play against a tough San Francisco team and they lost by three. So, um, in the bowl games, let's go over that first. Um, so far, we are six wins and two losses in the bowl games. We had uh, Buffalo and Kent State the night before on Friday, two winners. Uh, yesterday, we had Liberty, we had Florida Atlantic, we had Washington, and we had UAB. Uh, all winners are two losers were Central Michigan and Florida International. So right now in the bowl package, I hope you guys are subscribing and going with our picks because we are six wins and two losses so far. So um, any of you serious betters out there, I hope you're making money. Um, so so yesterday wasn't a, wasn't a bad day at all. We were catching them tickets. We were at Rivers Casino. We had a fun day. Uh, we were th day, there all day watching the games and, um, of course, having a few cocktails and partying with some friends. It was a nice day yesterday. Of course, couldn't stay away from the blackjack table, but it turned out, it didn't turn out that bad. Everything was pretty positive yesterday. So we had a good day yesterday. We want to, like, keep the momentum going and get into today. Again, spot on sports picks. Go to our dot, uh, dot com. Go to our website. We have all the information out there. We got the... Um, we got the um, our our bowl our bowl picks will be out there now. The bowl games for the college football games don't start again until Monday. Uh, Monday afternoon at two thirty, you're going to have Marshall versus uh, UFC, uh, University of Central Florida. So um, so today we strictly got the NFL and of course uh, there's NBA and stuff. But we're going to have a couple nice plays on the VIP side. With the NFL, and I just want to go over one game here, um, game that I thought was kind of interesting, but uh, these are tough games. The, the last two weeks of the NFL are always tough. There's games where teams don't have anything to play for besides their pride and and, and whatever. So uh, it's a tough. It's the last, especially next week, where teams will be resting players because they already made the playoffs and stuff like that. So. There's a couple of games I like today, and uh, the one game I do want to talk about are the Fal the Jaguars versus the Falcons. Uh, Jacksonville is on the road against uh, Atlanta, and uh, Jacksonville ruined uh, the Raiders uh, last game in the black hole last week in the Oakland Stadium. Uh, Oakland will be moving to Las Vegas next year, so... Uh, the Jaguars beat the Raiders uh, twenty to sixteen, and um, and uh, so they ruined that for the Raiders. So, uh, but uh, I mean, these teams are Jacksonville had a terrible middle of the season. Their season in the beginning wasn't bad, but they're only five and nine. The Falcons are only five and nine. The Falcons are laying seven and a half points here, um, and. Uh, you know, just a couple of the trends here. Uh, I, I don't know. Jacksonville's, they're, they're totally in disarray. They got rid of Tom Coughlin. Um, I mean, the players, I don't know. They, they won last week, and they put something together. 
Um, I don't know. Do they have it in them again going on the road to Atlanta where they're just – Atlanta also has no really anything to play for, but they are at home. And they did – Atlanta did two of their five wins were on the road against New Orleans and against San Francisco. Now, I know those are the, uh, you know, divisional games for them. But, I mean, they just – they play these teams tough. I mean, they're probably the best 5-9 and nine team in the NFL, the Falcons are. But I don't know if they're going to keep this coach, Dan Quinn. They, they could be fighting for his job. And then they're at home. I think they want I, – I just think the Falcons just want to explode today and um, be at home and give their fans one – you know, last thing for this this year, like a blowout victory. That's what I'm looking at here. Plus, the trends lead towards more of the Falcons anyways. Uh, Atlanta's 4-1 and one in their last five games in December. 5-2 and two against the spread in the last seven overall. 6-1 and one against the spread in, in, in Week 16 in their last seven years. So, they look like they play well in Week 16. And um, Jacksonville, on the other hand... Is one in five against the spread as an underdog, one in five against the spread overall, two and six against the spread following a straight up win. So when they win the game and then they come back the next week, they really don't cover the spread. One in five, here's another one, one in four in the last five games on grass. So I like the Falcons in this spot to just explode. And no, the line is seven and a half, but there's a reason why the line is seven and a half. And I just think Atlanta's going to come out and go crazy with Matt Ryan and whatever. So my pick today on the free side would be the Atlanta Falcons. Okay, so again, I'm going to have some picks out on the VIP side. We got some stuff rolling today, so I hope everybody has a great day. Don't forget, Spot on Sports Picks, again, on our YouTube channel. Subscribe if you can. Um, on our uh, Facebook, like us on Facebook, share us on Facebook. We're getting out there. We're having a good time. We had fun at the casino last night. Hope everybody uh, uh, had a good time that stopped by the table. And um, let's get going. Today's Saturday, Sunday, Sunday, December 22nd. Um, we woke up this morning. Thank God. Give thanks. And, of course, it's all about cashing them tickets, which we did last night. And uh, everybody have a great day.